What's good YouTube? Today on Always Hungry, we're going to be making a lapin à la moutarde from a cookbook. Every time I make this dish, it always brings me back to some good memories of my father, my brother and myself sitting down on a nice little patio south of France by the Pont d'Avignon. You know, summer night, it was hot but not too hot. The moon was shining. I had this nice little cassoulet de lapin that I ordered. It was served in a cast iron pot. Nice cream sauce. It was just falling off the bone. Side of fries. Great service, you know. Everything was perfect. The vibes were immaculate. And that's why I want to share this memory with you guys. Let's do it. Now, some purists would probably say that it's not the actual, original, authentic lapin and la moutarde. But you know what? Fuck these guys. This is my version and it's fucking amazing. Let's make it. To make this recipe, here is what you'll need. One whole rabbit, Dijon mustard, grainy mustard, butter, heavy cream, chopped garlic, finely diced shallot, wild mushrooms. Here I have some oyster mushrooms and some beautiful lobster mushrooms. Maple syrup, fresh Italian or flat parsley, the best olive oil in the world. Link in bio. And some chives. First step, we're gonna sear the rabbit. Before we do, we're gonna season with salt and pepper heavily. The goal here is to build some crust, build some flavor before we send this thing in the oven to roast. Now, depending on where you live in this world, rabbit might not be the easiest meat to find in your local grocery, but any decent butcher should carry some. The best part about making this, it's a one pot recipe. we we'll gonna be searing everything in there, roasting in the same pot. A Little more olive oil in there, and also some butter. Now time for the rabbit to join the party. The goal is not to go crazy, crazy hot. You wanna go medium high, get a nice coloration going, a nice bit of flavor. So don't go too hard, guys. I'm even gonna be using a little bit of extra weight to make sure I get some beautiful, even crust on the legs. Let's check out that crust and see how we did. I mean, come on now. That's a proper sear, you know? That's how you do it. You got a little leg, nice little crust here. That's flavor, baby, let's go. Ah! Oh no, the vibes are fucked! Fuck! The vibes! So two reasons why I use a torch here. First reason, I'm very impatient. Second reason, some parts are kind of hard to sear, like the side of the front legs, so, you know, a little torch, even sear, everyone's happy, the vibes are good, let's go. Okay, the rabbit's fully seared on all surfaces. Now it's time to transfer it to our rack here. Woo! Look at this beauty. See that brown crust? That's gonna make our sauce the most amazing sauce in the world, you know? Nothing short of that, guys. Let's go. I have some lobster mushrooms, which are very cool. And I also picked myself at the cottage last weekend. You know, can beat it. And I also have some lovely oyster mushrooms. Very classic, but always a good flavor and uh, texture. So we're gonna cut these into smaller pieces and sear those in our wonderful bath of butter, oil, rabbit, goodness. Very important, you wanna season along the way, each every step. You can't just season at first and at the end. Doesn't work this way. You have to season as you go, build the flavors. It's called layered seasoning, bitches. Look it up. Or don't, I don't even care. And the cool part about lobster mushrooms, you know, is it's gonna turn everything into a beautiful, bright orange. Now I can already see the questions in the comments. People are gonna ask, what if I don't like mushroom? What can I replace mushrooms with? Absolutely nothing. Grow up, you loser. Eat your mushrooms. Okay, as you can see, we have a beautiful coloration taking place on these mushrooms. Now it's gonna be time for us to add our finely diced shallot and chopped garlic. It's now time to deglaze. I have some amazing white wine, but you know, whatever you can afford is gonna work. Let's deglaze. Now the goal here is to make sure you scrape all those brown bits 
because that's straight up a flavor, baby. You're gonna go on the sides, you know, get everything. Now we're just waiting for the wine to almost fully reduce. I'm gonna add two big scoops of Dijon mustard, maybe even more, you know. Now time for the grainy mustard. Now we have to make this thing feel a bit Canadian, right? So you already know, maple syrup, baby, liquid gold. Oh my God, the smell is unreal. Woo! Now we're gonna just hit this whole thing with copious amounts of heavy cream. It's a French kiss, you know? Butter, cream, what else? Let's do a little taste test. Mm. The flavor is out of this fucking world, baby. Let's go. Our sauce is simmering. It's now time to add this perfectly seared rabbit in the pot. As you can see, I am not fully submerging this rabbit in the sauce at this point, because I want to keep getting a nice crust on top. At the end, we're gonna be basting this rabbit with this wonderful, creamy mustard sauce. It's now time to send this rabbit in the oven that's already preheated on 350 Fahrenheit. Now, you know at first I said I was gonna use some parsley? Well, guess what? Sometimes in life, you change your mind. I'm not gonna use the parsley. Parsley, you're out. But I'm still gonna be using this chives though. Just for a nice little fresh, green, oniony flavor on top. So we're gonna chop this right now. So now the rabbit's been roasting for about 15 minutes in the oven on 350 Fahrenheit. Now we're gonna finish this thing with a basting, a little broil, and we're good to go. The smell is unreal, bruv. This is a low broil, guys, okay? Not too hard. We just wanna create this beautiful, bubbly, gratiné crust of cream. It's gonna make everything. The rabbit's good to go. Now you could probably serve this with some uh, vegetables, some nice little carrots, some green beans. People sometimes use uh, like uh, pasta as a side. It's a weird French thing, I guess, but yeah, pasta or uh, rice even. But today, you know what? I'm not your mom. I'm not gonna tell you what to serve it with. I'm just showing you the important part, which is the rabbit. For the rest, you'll figure it out. The only thing I'm gonna be putting on this rabbit now is the freshly chopped chives. Okay, it is almost time for our favorite part of the video, tasting. Before I get there, I'm gonna carve a nice little piece of that back leg. And finally, the time has come for my favorite part of every single video. It's tasting time. Oh, oh my God. Talking about memories, guys, you know? I just saved myself a trip to France, you know, flight tickets, maybe hotels, all that stuff to maybe get the same experience, which, you know, could be different. But instead, what we made here is we, take the, we took the memories, brought them back home. And in the end, that's what cooking is all about. You know, it's about sharing good moments. It's about giving. It's about receiving, it's a beautiful thing, you know? Don't forget to like this video. Maybe leave a comment telling me what was your favorite memory about food. Oh, and by the way, we just passed the 70,000 subscribers mark and we are on the road to 100,000 subscribers. Meaning, keep sharing the love, sharing a good time, and ultimately, we can share passion of cooking all together as one. And we'll see you on the next episode of Always Hungry.